Hello and welcome. We're here again in Flades, and in this time we play Minecraft. How are you, Dapster? I'm good, thank you. Here, hi. Hello. Yes. So, what are we doing in Minecraft? Well, this is the server we play on sometimes, and we thought we'll show around. We had a, a server showcase series, but it got griefed and hacked. So, this is the new SMP that we're playing on, and. We've gotten slightly far. The Ender Dragon is still not being defeated, so we still can show around what we've got. So this is our place, and we just wanted to show you what we've done in our world. And if you want to see more, we could show some more progress later on down the line. So here is where we've got our turtles for those scouts. And being able to breathe in the water. They're really cute, aren't they? They are so cute. Oh. And we feed them that. And this is a bit of uh, nether wart. Some carrots, things growing here. I will. And transport animals, kind of thing. Some cows. That's the ship area with different colours. That's the mine. And we'll show you the mine first, actually. What we've got here. Right, so, we come down here through this big tunnel, which is located underneath the mine, and this is a, there's two spots to do fishing, uh, while you have some zombies coming down, this is a XP farm, the drop from there, if you want to see how it works in depth, there's a tutorial of this very farm uh, on my YouTube channel so well this is it's pretty efficient it levels up it's a decent early game farm outside here this is a big cave system that we're on and we do have a few slime spawning not big deal we don't have a slime farm yet but it, you can see one there it's a big enough area for them to spawn every now and then. It's lit up as well. And, yeah, it's pretty good. We'll move on to the next area, really. There's a few entrances for this. Cause some more zombies come around that way. And you just kill them. Get some experience. And move on. Let's go. Some lovely flesh. Don't forget the flesh. Yeah, lovely rotten flesh. Um, oh, yeah. Right, so... Uh, we go down here. We'll go down here, this is the mine. We'll go down here. We haven't done much. We found quite a few diamonds. That's mainly what it's for. Nothing pretty about it. Let's go up again. We need some way of getting up faster than just staircases. We need a quarry. To get all out. Make an elevator. Yeah. Now... We go up here, and this is the actual house. Right here. Now we've got here, Kevin. With his golden boots. And Kevin, not so clean pants. Kevin, clean pants is there. <laughs> we live in beam. Uh, this is an enchanting area with an anvil. A few things there. Some instructions for some basic fire resistant potions, which we craft a lot. Oh, this is the end of chest. I've got 22 diamonds there. A few things there. This is the map that shows the 
the state of the world what we're trying to do is do four areas we're going to have the main house covering the whole block there then automated storage is going to go there and the farms are going to go here this is going to be a general utility area and yeah it's looking pretty good then we've got this automated sugarcane farm here which is not the biggest but it just gets us by with a bit of paper every now and then that's a manual one we just go we're flattening the whole map to that guideline that covers all the edges of the far uh, physical maps that's going that we've got some bamboo here growing we've got loads of bamboo really really good this is the uh, so the storage area that we've got at the moment this is the one that we are using at the moment but it's not going to be for much longer we've got a few items here we've got just one stack of diamonds at the moment because we have used way too many diamond uh, pickaxes and shovels and stuff to flatten all these out but now we've got mending so we'll show you in a bit how we got that and this is what we're busy with at the moment the frog this is the frog the sorting the sorting frog a carrot in your hand. <laughs> and then we opened this it took us quite a bit of work but we managed to get it done and this is the automated sorting system that we're working on at the moment it should be amazing once it's finished we're doing a low density items there and a high density one there and once we go down here this is kind of like the admin room this is if anything fails on the redstone which shouldn't happen unless there is some external influence we come down here and sort it this is the dropping system and this is the piston door that you saw above this is how it works this is the bell system thingy and this is above the piston door and this is piston door itself on one of the sides actually press it again yes yeah, sorry <laughs> and I can actually show a bit how it works well not much it, you can't really see it it's all covered up <laughs> but shame. it is a shame but it works which is what's important and let me see so let, let's say I drop these three slime balls automatically the chest will detect it and drop them back now I don't know where they're gonna go because I haven't put the item markers yet but it should be on this one oh it should be stuck on that yeah uh, it's working its way through yet yeah. and that's something that's work in progress where we're gonna go now is to the nether and so show you what we've got over there which is not finished yet neither got a few projects going on so this is what I say if you guys like Minecraft uh, the current subscribers or people that watch this video we would love to show what we do because we play this a bit like leisure so we will carry on playing this world don't know for how long but we want to complete at least a few projects we've got in mind so right for a start there's a fortress that way which no need to show because we haven't done that much with it this is kind of where we smelt some of the stuff with lava it is very efficient way of burning stuff a bit of an open area for killing some magma cubes Not the greatest experience, wouldn't recommend it. You'll get killed more than you get experience sometimes. <laughs> yeah. uh, the zombie XP farm is probably best for that. Uh, we've got a netherite mining facility, which is still a work in progress. We, we, we haven't found much netherite uh, yet. So that's not really what we're going to show. But what we will show is 
First, the breeder. We've got a villager breeder. It's not massive, but he gets the work done. It's work in progress still. And we'll show you the iron farm later. So let's see this first. As you can see, they're all uh, in there. Little babies there, making their way through. So, yeah, this is this area. We <laughs> bit them here. They're quite funny, the little kids. Look at them running. <laughs> Jumping on the beds, they're funny. Basically, this uh, straw hat dude just gets some carrots and trades it to a random villager. Gets a little one at the end. That's how it works. Just like real life. Isn't Just like in real life. Let's go through here now. Hello. And we're taken through the rails, through the nether, and then we transport them to here, which is the trading hall slash iron farm as well. This is a few of the tunnels connecting some of the players in the server. We can show you their buildings if uh, they're okay with it, but for now we're just showing what we've done. So this is the trading hall, that's how it looks, and it's also an iron farm. But at the moment we trade carrots, um, that's the mending book guy, some rotten flesh, some paper. And we're going to get some sticks to have a wood farm and just trade with them. And this is where the villagers are. Is just the way I like doing them. So you can do iron farms in so many different ways. Um, they are, there's a zombie in the middle going around the minecart. No, he scares this one's. It scares them ones every now and then. And it scares these other ones every now and then. And that's how it works. It scares all far. Uh, it's better... Um, well, down here you can see. We, we needed an iron farm. We've got a pig there because we find it funny. Him, him nodding. So, we've got the iron... And really, we need loads of iron for the hoppers that we need for the sorting system. So, before you do a sorting system, you need to AFK at an iron farm for quite a while. Uh, it, we're still working. It's a work in progress, this iron farm. Uh, I'm trying to do a design where it's to get enough uh, panic time, all of them, and enough bet time, all of them. So that the next uh, Iron Golem spawn attempt can be successful. But we're still working on timing yet. And I probably will add another zombie going around. Or an extra villager on each capsule. But for now it is working at around 350 iron ingot an hour. Or one Iron Golem every 40 to 55 seconds. Which is kind of... As efficient as you can make it. Well, you can make it a lot more efficient. But we're not that bothered. We just wanted to have a nice place. We'll have trading. And at the same time you're trading, you passively also spawn in golems. At the moment it's disabled. Because they haven't had any bedtime for a while, these villagers. With not being going to bed. We've ha we have been going to bed and it's not been rendered for a while. That's why I'm going to have to do a chunk loader for a bit. So that is working no matter where we are in the world. But that's, that'll be something more technical in the future. So we'll show you the outside of the farm. Trapdoors are very safe. Zombies can't break it. We're playing on hard. Not hardcore. But definitely... Add. And 
Uh, you go up here and pretty much they spawn on the water, get pushed, and the lava down there, just the head peeps through the lava and that hurts them. So, if you want a more detailed guide, let me know. I can show you inside how it works. And I can't think of much else that we've done. Apart from crazy flattening the world and things like that. Yeah. Always. So there's quite a lot to do still. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you around next time. Right. See you. See you later. And this is what we've got here. This is the main house. And I'll just quickly show you how much we've flattened so far. That side was all mountain, just to have an idea. Bit crazy. And there's a lot more to be done. So yeah, I hope you guys can follow along with the progress that we're doing. See you later. See you later. Hey, don't hit me with carrots. I hit you with a puff of fish. <laughs>